guys. So the weekend went by real quick for me. I'm not sure how it was for you guys, but you know in the other video when I was telling you that it never ends, well, I'm back at it and uh, we got this short week. So I really got to turn up and crank these jobs out. So I was spraying this silver job and I wanted to show you guys how I do my silvers and how I do my blends and what guns I use and what setups I use when I'm doing my silver. So I really like that 3M gun because I can change out the heads on it and use a uh, different size head when I'm doing my, my uh, silver. So we're gonna get into this one here and shoot this one with the uh, 3M gun with the 1.3 in it and uh, see how it comes out. So. Stay tuned for this one. We're gonna be doing a silver. It's both sides and two bumpers, guys. So, all right, guys, so we're in the mixing room now. We're gonna mix up the sealer first. And when you're doing a silver, it's crucial that you get your uh, sealer as close to that color as you can because silvers are very transparent and you wanna get that ground coat very close to that silver. That way you're not trying to cover too much of a darker color or too much of a lighter color. You wanna get it right in the middle. And that way you don't have to worry about putting a million coats on because everyone knows with silver, the more you put on, sometimes the more trouble you get. And that's even with solvent or with water base. So you don't wanna be stacking and stacking and stacking silver on top of each other because you're gonna get more model and you're gonna get more lumps and bumps and uh, definitely more dry spray with a solvent. So years ago, I used to do a lot of candy jobs and when I was spraying down my sealer, the next would be the Orion Silver from House of Colors. And that color very covers very, very bad. So I would always try to get my uh, sealer real close to that color because if you didn't, you'd be putting a million coats on. So one thing I used to do was I'd mix my own ground coat silver that was a better coverage color after I sealed it. And then I would go ahead and start using the Orion Silver after that color was already down. That way it would cover better because those coarse metallics don't cover at all. And there's a lot of binder in them custom colors. So make sure you get your uh, sealer real close. So we're gonna mix up our sealer. This coat is uh, 700M Honda. And then we'll start shooting it guys. mix it as normal so I make my own uh, gray up on that the gray that we use is a little too dark and I don't want to go with a white so I mix my own up and come with a close color so let's go ahead and seal it and then we'll mix up the base and we'll shoot this one all right here's the job so we're doing the side of this one and we're doing the other side two bumpers so when you're doing a paint job and this goes with any paint job you want to try to lose the color in a certain area. That way it's not in the middle of the panel. So we're kind of in trouble here because we're already past where a nice blend would be. You know, you can lose it under the mirror. You want to try to lose it in areas that aren't such right out in the billboard area. So we're kind of limited here on this one because this repair went way back into the door. So we're going to be blending this one here, but I'll take it to the edge of this handle and that way this will here if the color was off which i have you know i'm able to adjust my color but for any of you guys at home try to lose it in an area maybe where there's a handle or a mirror because if you try to blend something in the middle of this door it's if the color is not perfect you're going to see it more so i'll usually try to lose it in the front or i'll lose it in the back and i don't like doing the sideway blends that's just not my style there are guys out there doing it and they're successful with it but that's never how I've done it. I always do a back blend and uh, I've had better luck with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do it and uh, how I seal it too, to get a nicer feather edge and how to have the sealer lay down nice and smooth when you're doing a, a blend like this. So let me get my gun and I'll show you. All right guys, so usually when the guy's painting, you'll paint like this. But every time you stop that gun, and no matter what, you're gonna slow down because you're stopping. You're gonna put more material on the end of that spot because you're going like this and you're stopping. 
So when you do something like this, you want to turn the gun sideways and seal it this way. And that'll leave a nice blend because it'll mist it right down nice and easy instead of stopping and leaving blotches every time you go like this. So no matter who you are or what you do, you're gonna stop and you're gonna slow down in that spot. It's just the way, it's, the way it is. So turn the gun sideways. So you can see what I mean. See how it left that nicer, smoother edge? And it's nice and even. So if you were to stop that gun, you'd be leaving high spots every time you slow down. And uh, this is the best way to do it when you got tight room here. So I had to seal this because of the body work. And uh, we're gonna be blending it right there on the edge, guys. We're gonna leave about a six inch and I'm gonna blend this one out nice and easy. I may even uh, dilute it a little bit so I can get a nice and smoother blend with the base coat. So let me seal the other side and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side too. Alright guys, so the sealer's on there and I was telling you last time, you guys know I told you this is a very smooth transition of the sealer with the Sherwin. And I usually never sand the sealer but on this one here because I'm getting close, I don't want to have any problems with trying to blend this out. So I'm going to cover all my bases on this one. So I don't use a clear base because I don't like the way it darkens the panel up and yellows the panel up. If you ever looked at the top of the lids of the base clears, you'll see that it's yellow. And to me, you're darkening it up already with the clear and you're darkening it up. So you don't want to put any more than you have to on the end of this. And I don't want to have this, 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 and this with different, you know, blenders and all this stuff. So I've been using these here and these are the 2000 grit uh, finishing foam like a Trizac style uh, sanding pad and it's foam and spongy. And I like it because it's a 2000 grit. So something like this, I'll go ahead so that I can assure that I won't have any kind of a uh, spot showing up for the sealer edge because I'm limited on space here because I'm right in the middle of this door here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with this 2000 and it's so fine, the 2000, it doesn't, leave any sand scratches at all so i've been using this and trying it out lately and it's been really working well on the base i'll go ahead and hit this while i'm here that way it's all the same and uniform because i like having everything the same even though i really just need to sand this edge here to just assure that it's good i'll go ahead and run it over this in case it's got any nibs and this here is a really smooth and it's flexible so it won't gouge anything. And these really work nice too for sanding the base. And they're made by Norton. So really well made uh, abrasive here. And I just run over my end of my sealer and you can run over the whole panel with it because it's 2000. So I know they make those, you know, uh, sky pads, but this is a really smooth version of that being it's 2000. And I'll run over this nice and easy. And this will set me up for a beautiful blend and uh, eliminate some of the problems. So I do this sometimes on my silvers. Usually I don't do this on anything but silvers and I usually don't even do it on silver. So, but on this one here, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try all the tricks that I got up my sleeve to ensure I get a good blend. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this here too. And uh, just lightly hit it. And it's nice and quick because it's 2000, so it's not gouging it up. Just go uniform with it, nice and easy. And then I'll retack it. I don't really need to be running over this, but I am while I'm here, I might as well, in case there's a little dirt in it be cleaner everything you do is going to make it cleaner just you got to make sure you pack it off real good again because now you've you've brought dirt back onto this uh, panel so 
it's like starting over again. So make sure you blow it off and tack it again. So I got me a brand new fresh tack rag. You guys know I love the crystals. And I got that new blow gun. So I'll set it on a real light air pressure. So when I'm blowing it, I can blow and tack it nice and easy. So let me go ahead and do that. And now I'll do the same thing with the base that I did with the sealer on the end of this till I get coverage. Once I'm covered, then I'll start my blend out, but I'll be blending it too at the same time, but I like to go sideways, so. And I'm using the 1-3. I like using a 1-3 with the uh, silvers. To me, it's the perfect uh, amount of fluid to get it to lay down real nice. Let's go ahead and put on coat two. You've seen coat one. We'll put one more on and we'll look at it with the light in the dark, make sure we're covered. Like I told you before, a lot of these silvers are very see-through. So you want to check them in the dark with a sunlight or with any kind of uh, daytime light that you have, guys have. So let's check it out. And you guys will see here, I have the gun angled. When I'm doing my blend, I'm kicking it back into the wet area. I got to stay off this back of this panel here. We'll see how it looks. We'll check it in the dark. And we may be dropping this one, guys. So stay tuned. And we'll check it out. All right, guys. So it's dark in the booth. And we got the sunlight from 3M. We're checking our blend, making sure we're covered. And it looks like it is. So I'm going to go ahead and do one little blend out on it. And we're going to clear this baby. So that's how I do my silvers. and check it out all said and done.
is guys all finished up looking good looking clean blend looks beautiful nothing on the back of the blend and that eliminates the base clear by just giving it one quick little sand down with that 2000 grit and knocking down any overspray like i said this sealer i use doesn't have much overspray as it is but that's just to ensure that I'm not going to fight the color and I'm not going to have any trouble because I don't like getting backed up into a hole and that's what it looked like I was about to do. So thanks for watching this one, guys. Give it a thumbs up and see you next time.